Okay, so this is part four of the Tiki Hut modeling uh, tutorial series, and in this series, we're going to take the um, top of the uh, roof here, and we're going to apply grass on it and kind of style it so that way it looks like the top that we want it to be. So um, I'm going to go back to the um, object level here. This node is still called Geo, so I'm going to call this our um, Tiki Hut. And that works out. And then I'm going to create another geometry node. And this is going to be our um, roof grass geo and if you remember in the previous lesson we went in and we created this null node and called it out roof and that is going to allow us to bring this in here um, I'm going to delete this file node because we're not importing anything in and what I want to do is bring in a uh, mer object merge there we go, and on the object here in that node, if we click this button, we can go to Tiki Hut and we can see that Outroof comes out to the top. Because I made it all capital letters, it comes right to the top, so it makes it easier to find. So with Outroof there, I have that piece of geometry in the scene now. And actually, I'm going to uh, select the primitives I want to apply the grass to and to create grass we're actually going to create a um, hair system and then click on add fur there we go so that adds the um, grass for us obviously it's not exactly kind of the way we want it because we want it to be laying down and we want it to be kind of less chaotic and everything like that. Um, so I'm going to have to start really um, grooming this to look the way I want it to look like. So um, let's see, the length is okay. I'll leave it at that. If I need to, I can change it. Um, and this grass roof I don't need visible anymore so I'm going to hide it because we only need the grass so I was just using that to have an easy way to um, select the grass where we needed it. Um, we could have probably done it inside of the other node but um, it just kind of gives us a little bit of separation if we need to make any adjustments we can't make it here rather than going into that other um, tiki node there. So let's look at the shader first because if we do kind of a preview render here in this section, there we go. Kicking up, it really does look kind of like fur, and that's not what we want. So um, I'm just gonna start working with the shader. Actually, cancel. Let's cancel that. First, before I do that, let's bring the density kind of way down. Because I want it to be least thick when I create it. And let's look at how that's rendering now in our scene. And we should see a, quite a bit more of a difference where it's kind of more, uh, inter it's more spread out. So that's good. Um, here in the material on the grass node, I'm going to click on that button. And I think the colors for now are fine. The reflections, I want to, um, oops, not shift, but the uh, intensity. I want to bring this way down. And that is fine. Um, I'm gonna do like 
maybe not saturation, but intensity. Add a little bit of randomness. There you go. And then let's go back out to our object level here inside of our uh, appearance. I'm going to add some randomness in the length of the curves. So that should make it a little bit more uneven when we look at it. That's good. Um, thickness, we do want this to be quite a bit more thick. So maybe I'm going to put it at 0 0.01. And again, kind of render this out and see what it's looking like. Uh, maybe even thicker than that for our scene. Uh, let's see what point one looks like in this scene. Maybe too much. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell right now. Uh, what we can do to help us out a little bit with the way it looks is just throw in an environment light. And that will give us a better idea of kind of how this is looking. And maybe that is good enough. So let's go in and start playing with the grooming tools. The main one that I want to start off with right now is the, if we go to the grooming tools here, the screen brush. And with the, actually I have the environment light, let's select the grass and then the screen brush again. There, so it gives us this brush here. Um, I can kick up the strength and I want to make sure that it does have some lift so that way it doesn't um, completely collapse in on itself. So now that we have that, I can go in and really kind of start deciding how I want that to look. And that looks kind of okay for me right now. And I'm going to take that on on the other side as well. There we go. Um, oops, I made it flip there, so I'm going to just do Control Z and really kind of play around with that. I'm just going to give it a little bit of feathering on the edges so that way it's not completely smooth. And then maybe kind of on the sides, put out a little bit so that way it's kind of going over the edge. This went a little bit crazy. I'm going to try to undo a few times to get it back and then just kind of tweak it a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to do that here on the top or on the back side, not necessarily the top, and then maybe. Uh, that one already has a little bit, but maybe I'll play around with it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick test render to see what that looks like. So it's going to take a few moments. Um, let me pause the video and we'll come back in a moment. Okay, so here we can kind of get an idea of what it's looking like right now. Um, maybe I'd want to decrease the number of um, geometry that we have here and increase their length. 
so I'm going to do that and also kind of play with the color because it looks really brown at this point and I want it to look more kind of golden. So I'm going to go in and go back to our object level, Let's select the grass here and go back to basic. So in basic I'm going to take this number down maybe to like, I don't know, uh, 400. And let's hide the um, guides and turn on our display curve so that we can kind of see what's going on. And that is fine for me. I just want to kind of increase the length of these. And that is not working so let's go to our display. We have a length scale here that we can try to increase and that helps out some. Oops, I don't need that. I just need the camera. There we go. So that's a little bit longer so I can come back in with the um, screen brush and really try to kind of adjust these down and maybe the lift is too strong now so I can take the lift a little bit more down and really try to push these in the direction that we want them to go. And if you're not perfectly smooth that's okay, I'll make it look a little bit more organic and that's good for us. And maybe kind of here at the tip because I did notice some kind of um, that it looked a little bit weird here where they were both coming together. I'm just going to make it bunch up at the tip there. So let's look at what this renders like here. I'm going to set it to do a little preview render and I will pause this video and let you guys see what it looks like now when we come back. So I'm liking this a lot more. I just need to maybe um, tweak a little bit more the, um, the color because I didn't do that when we were discussing it. So I'm going to go back to the basic in the hair node. I click onto the shortcut to get to our hair. And here, the root color. Maybe I want it kind of golden. But I'm really going to push the saturation and kind of lighten that up a bit somewhere around that range. And then for the tips, we're going to go pretty similar. We're going to line that, but I do want a different color when we're doing it. Let me pick up the saturation some, so that way it's a little bit vibrant. And I'm liking that color more. Uh, let's take this and maybe with um, this roof geometry, we can scale it in, what is that, the X a little bit. Um, 1.1. So let's see if that does anything for us. So I just want to cover up the edges a little bit. a little bit more just to give us a little bit more coverage on the edges there. Um, I'm liking that a lot more so I think I'm going to leave it here at this point um, and then we'll look at adding some shaders in the Lex lesson where we can really start kind of um, pushing the look of what's going on here. Alright, see you guys in the next lesson.